Hey, Sean here from SpeedCubeView.com. I actually had some time to edit a video and I was editing something that I've been wanting to make for a while and then this came in. This is something that I have been waiting for for a long time. This is the GAN Mini. Now you might be saying, Sean, don't they already have a Mini Cube? And yes, they do. They have the, when the 354 came out, it basically acted like the GAN X, but two millimeters smaller and it didn't have all the adjustments. It had the adjustments of tension, but not the magnets. This is a GAN Mini M Pro. It's basically the GAN 11, but with those adjustment settings. And you can see here, you can see those corner adjustments. So this should have those same things. However, I also did see that the adjustment for the tension is new and different. I'm excited to see what that is like. Okay, CubeStation. CubeStation works with the Bluetooth puzzles, but you can just use it as a timer with regular puzzles as well. Let's see if anything's different in here. Oh, the bag's different. The bag is darker. Is the logo the same? The logo is much smaller. Much, 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 much smaller. It's got a regular bag out here. A lot of blue on the screen. Old bag new bag kind of like the new one something different we have their packet and then this what is oh this is a screwdriver that is just used to adjust the corner magnets Ooh, these are different corner magnets there's the triangular shape and then the ones that i believe are like hexagon and the triangular ones are a little bit lighter so you can replace those this is the tensioning tool so I'm going to take that out because I know I'm going to be needing that. The box feels the same size as the 356. So there's probably something in here that is going to hold it in place. And there is. It's the same thing I think that they had for the 2x2. Just the 2x2 is a little bit smaller. Okay, this feels like a Mini 11. It's very, very light. It does have that matte finish that... We've seen the other things that polishes up pretty fast. You can see the magnets right there, the adjustment. It's quite strong magnets right now. This feels more like a mini puzzle. The 354 felt really good as just a smaller end one. And I know some companies who have 50 millimeter puzzles, people like for one handed, but even think that might be too small. This is something I would definitely use for one-handed. And as much as I talk about using mini puzzles, I've been using 56 millimeters more and more. Couple things with the edges and the corners. Let's take this apart. We do have the corner piece there. Oh, we have the triangular one, triangular magnets in there right now. What's different here? Oh, these ones are the hexagon ones. And these ones are the triangular ones. I thought the triangular ones were lighter let's see here we've got a packet which we should read the instructions and not mess things up like I often do I can't read that language let's go here yes it says right here triangular rod is pre-installed and the hexagon rod is stronger magnets we have different tensions for the center so let's just put this back together yeah this is the middle of the lighter tension which is not bad right now I, I kind of like it caps are on tight so we have numbers one through five. No, one, wait, one, two, three, four, one through four here. And how does this work? We have the numerical distance. So that is distance from the center, it looks like. Then tension for the spring elasticity. And yeah, that's it. So there's four settings for the center and four settings for the tension. <laughs> Yeah, so with the numbers, it's I believe it says the smaller the number, the tighter the cube feels. Okay, okay, now I'm seeing it. There's one, the sun two, so I need to go to one. There we go. That's on one. 
that's on one. And let's tighten up magnets a little bit. While I'm doing finishing this, why do I like smaller puzzles? I mean, I have fairly large hands. The reason is I think it's easier to solve fast. I play violin. It's a tiny instrument. <laughs> you can see if it's still in frame, my electric violin. And when I play that, your fingers have to be closer together. So I've gotten used to kind of smushing fingers together. I'm going to tighten these. Just trying to remember which one's plus, which one's minus. Because it's very hard to see. There we go. Plus is on the left. What's nice with the corner adjustment instead of edge adjustment is that you only have to adjust four pieces. Or sorry, eight pieces. Edges, you either have to adjust 12 or 24, depending on how the edge is created or structured. There it is. Now, I'm pretty bad at one-handed already, so I'm just going to do some two-handed solves. But we have the GAN, they're not even calling it 353, they're calling it the Mini M Pro. The GAN Mini M Pro, 53 millimeters, it's a millimeter smaller than the 54, and three millimeters smaller than the 56, and even though that seems like a small change, it really does feel very, very, very different. This is going to be a winner in the GAN book. I don't know price right now. Uh, hopefully I can link to it in the description where you can get it, but this is something that if you've never tried a smaller cube, get it and check it out. If you have tried smaller cubes and like them, or let's say you're looking for something specific or one-handed, get that. I think people should try practicing with smaller cubes anyways. I really like them. So stay tuned for an average of five or more or less. What if I feel like putting in? But other than that, leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Are you going to get this puzzle? Let me know. Hit like, subscribe, more content like this in the future. And as always, stop by speedcubeview.com for more news and reviews.